Mount Diablo. A historic breeding ground for the fastest animal on the planet, the peregrine falcon. For close to a decade, this amazing apex predator has had the benefit of a dedicated group of stewards from Mount Diablo Interpretive Association, known as the Peregrine Team. Twenty twenty two was a special year for the peregrine and for the team. While peregrine does mean wanderer, due to an excellent prey base right here, they stayed in the park and surrounding area throughout the winter, and put on an aerial show on training day in February. Jenny Papka and team from Native Bird Connections brought a couple of their wild but unreleasable ambassadors. 2022 also heralded the introduction of a new peregrine brochure created by the team. As well as a new second closure zone in the remote Black Hills of Mount Diablo State Park, to protect a second pair of peregrines during the February through July breeding season. And the peregrine team was honored to have the Mount Diablo Interpretive Association take the team under its wing as its new sponsor. All exciting news, but what about the peregrines? Well. Courtship was fully underway by early February for our Castle Rock Pine Canyon pair, so it was no surprise that mating followed shortly thereafter. By early March, they'd completed their house hunting and selected a scrape or nesting cavity for the season. Sadly, it was just about this time that the team noticed the conspicuous absence of the Black Hills peregrines. It soon became obvious. That they had abandoned the site, though the reason is unknown. With all eyes now on the Castle Rock peregrines, team members noticed that the female or falcon looked gravid, and by late March she had laid her first egg. Nest exchanges followed, confirming that incubation had begun. But with the nesting cavity so high in the cliff face, it seemed impossible to determine just how many eggs were laid. Not easily discouraged, the peregrine team began setting up spotting scopes and cameras on the distant opposite ridge of the canyon, a full third of a mile away, hoping for a peek into the nest. And it paid off. Three beautiful eggs were confirmed. And in late April, three tiny fuzzy bobbleheads could be seen being fed and cared for. By their parents, that is, until the parents were forced to repeatedly leave the nest to drive off intruders, including other peregrines, prairie falcons, kestrels, turkey vultures, even the occasional golden eagle. In mid-May, the chicks or ayases were mature enough to thermoregulate and withstand the minor trauma of being banded, while not too old as to scurry away and tumble off the cliff face. Ranger and biologist Gavin Evans of the UC Santa Cruz Predatory Bird Research Group invited team member Rosita Harvey to guide him up to the scrape and assist with the banding and measuring. Their timing was perfect, as Gavin found all three chicks to be just over three weeks old and thriving. While the parents were understandably upset during the short banding visit, they quickly got back to their almost constant feeding of the chicks. Ranger Gavin's scratches inflicted during another recent peregrine banding show that this is not work for the faint-hearted. By late May, chicks were already showing dark colorations and were eating on their own when their parents delivered prey. Mom and Dad are smart to drop food off and flee from injury by their ravenous, sharp-talented offspring. By early June, the three are practicing a lot of wing flapping and rock hopping. 
finally leaving the nest as fledgeneers. While one chick is visibly smaller than its siblings, soon all three are taking their inaugural flights back and forth across the peaks. About this time, sightings of the parents began to diminish, and the team wondered, are the parents using hunger to encourage their fledglings to hunt? July finds the family often absent from the canyon for days, and then altogether gone. That is, until a local resident with a keen interest in birds of prey noticed that three healthy juvenile peregrine were often perched in a tree near his home along the border of Diablo Foothills Regional Park and contacted the team. The peregrine team was thrilled to have an unexpected extension to the season and gathered to enjoy watching the three fledglings hone their aerial skills practicing carrying sticks and devouring food, sometimes still delivered by their parents. And then one day, as suddenly as they appeared, they're gone, off to do what peregrines do best, wandering. <laughs>